Okay, I'm doing an eviction job here. Uh, this is the interior of the house. Before I got here, before I was called, the mama raccoon and babies were right in here. And this wall was already torn out. He's remodeling. Um, but before I got the call, he shot at the mama repeatedly with a BB gun to uh, get her to leave. And what she did was she picked up the babies and went way back in beyond that plumbing. Actually, she was on uh, this side way back in. And I couldn't get a reasonable shot with a dart gun. I couldn't reach her. That white thing you see is actually a rag with eviction fluid and paste all over it. And there's one in there, too. I got it past that plumbing. And there's one down in there, too, to pass that to keep her from uh, just moving over. So my goal was to drive her out. Beyond that, <clears throat> when you go this direction, the direction I'm facing is the kitchen and then the porch roof and the entry exit point is under that porch roof a place under the metal and i was trying to drive her out trying to drive her that way so i didn't put eviction fluid over in the entry exit point or eviction paste sometimes i try and get it on her but uh, in this case i wanted to leave that doorway open for her to leave without having to cross a barrier so what she has done is She's moved into the porch roof, which is better than here, but it's still not ideal because we can't reach them without tearing the roof off. Let me stop this. All right, so now we're, uh, her entry exit point is right there where all that insulation and stuff is. Um, I'm not gonna put any eviction fluid there at all. I'm up on the porch roof right now. Um, where I was in the house, under this window at floor level, is the actual ceiling that she was in before. I've now pushed her out into this porch roof, out of the house and into this porch roof with the eviction fluid. Um, I don't want her to go back in. And so along where that roof line meets the siding, there's actually a gap that you can about stick a finger in, that wide of a gap all the way along there. I'm gonna treat that with eviction fluid to create a barrier all the way across. And I'm gonna leave that corner alone. That's the way out. I wanna leave her the doorway out um, with these babies. So we're gonna put a barrier all along there to keep her from going back in the house. And then these babies are right in this corner, but I can't get to them. I can hear them. I can't get to them without uh, ripping the roof up. But you see the gap, the little back gaps gets me right in there. I'm going to put eviction fluid everywhere I can all along here. Ideally, the only place she can go where there's no eviction fluid, no smells that repulse her will be out that entry exit point is my goal. We'll see how she responds to it. I came in thinking I could, because it sounds like they are right here. You can't see any heat, but it just sounds like they're just literally right. I thought they were laying in the soffit. Well, I yanked a piece down and uh, there's wooden soffit right above that, solid wooden tongue and groove soffit. So short of just tearing this place apart. That's going to be my next move. I would say by the claw marks, I'd say my entry exit point between the porch and the house is 
right under me, but I can't reach it. I'm going by the climb rocks and such. This is that gap between the roof of the porch and the siding. We're gonna just really treat this strong right in through here with the uh, eviction fluid down in there. That, that, get, that gets us right down in the cavity. Um, I can tell. Okay, so essentially what I've done here is, as I said before, the entry exit point is right there in that corner. She has the babies right now, right in this corner, but I can't get to them. So I have put eviction fluid. There's a hole, a gap up in that corner that gets me right on top of them. I've put them there. None at the entry exit point. I want that to welcome her to leave. I don't want any barriers in the way. Then all along this, I have found gaps and pushed eviction fluid up there. And then over on that corner, I also had another gap. And above it, I treated it all the way along, but not down by the entry exit point. I really laid it on heavy under that window where that gap is. I don't want her to go back into the house. Before you make fun of that ladder, that's the customer's ladder, not mine. That is my ladder. Thanks, guys. Sometimes the darts and the tennis balls just don't work. Sometimes either cloth rags or just paper towels with the male raccoon urine. And usually I use glands in this case um, I used them on the inside here. I just put urine down, uh, and pushed it back with just a very simple, uh, chimney rod. I carry all lengths of chimney rods, use them all the time for different things other than, uh, chimneys. They're handy. Just a little tool run down here. We'll see what happens.